Thank you very much. So uh, climate change causes uh, warmer summits with more heat waves. And these high temperatures have a negative aspect uh, on the impact of public health, uh, productivity, well-being, air and water quality, and all the urban systems. So you will see now a film where we uh, see all those impacts of heat stress. In our changing climate, summers are getting hotter. Heat waves will also occur more often and will be more severe in the coming years. In many European cities and urban areas, hot weather causes heat stress, with major consequences for public health and the quality of life. Changes are needed in public space to reduce heat stress. Spatial adaptation is a key way to make towns climate-proof, while also improving the quality of life and increasing attractiveness. Planting trees, hanging shade sails, creating green facades and adding water elements can be effective measures against heat stress. This doesn't just keep places cooler, but can also provide added benefits. For example, more green spaces can support biodiversity, improve flood resilience and combat drought. Cities do not yet have sufficient insight into the heat problem itself and the effectiveness of the various measures. Policymakers, spatial designers and other experts can benefit from additional knowledge and practical tools to properly tackle heat stress. In the Cool Towns project, 13 European partners are working together on a suite of tools and pilots to support the decision-making process for taking spatial heat stress interventions. Solutions that make towns climate-proof in a changing climate are explored, developed and implemented. Cool Towns is supported by the European Interreg Programme, 2 Cs 2014-2020. So climate change causes warmer summers with more heat waves and these high temperatures have a negative effect on public health, productivity, well-being, air, water quality and all the urban systems. So you have seen in the film that what are the impacts are of heat stress. Cool Towns is all about creating possibilities to optimize heat-friendly spatial design in cities and to make our cities aware of heat stress. We demonstrate effects of local measurements and improve local adaptation plans. The partnerships of cool towns exist of 13 partners and 16 observer partners. All partners, the aim of all partners is to prevent as much as possible the negative effects of climate change and to find together attractive solutions to make cities climate proof. So heat stress is prevented and limited as much as possible. But how we cope with all these high temperatures? How we try to do this? What are the results of cool towns? And what are the results for you? What can you do with it as a partner or as audience? Heat stress mapping. It's a tool that allows cities to map present and future heat stress and expect the effects of possible interventions. Therefore, we developed a measure, uh, measurement protocol, but you will hear more about it by Hedion, our first keynote speaker. A decision support tool for selecting heat resilience measures, a training and capacity building package on heat resilience for different target groups including building companies, landscape architects, and so on. A roadmap for local authorities, so a step-by-step -step plan. And of course, the different types of interventions and measurements with co-benefits in all our authorities and partner uh, cities. So if you want to hear more about cool, cool towns, please contact the lead partner or contact one of our partners. We are more than happy to, to tell you more about our project and we will be, and all have a look at our website. Thank you very much for your attention. <laughs>